Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf review. This week, Kiss with their album Love Gun. This is a special one for me because June 30th, 2017, this album turns 44 zero 40 years old. And this album marks the final time the original four members of KISS played on an album together. This is the last one. This is the sixth album by the original lineup of KISS. And I love this album. I love the title track, Love Gun. So let's get into it. This is Love Gun. Now Love Gun was released June 30th, 1977. Track number one, I Stole Your Love. Now this is a great, fantastic opener. Oh my god, I just love the I love right in the beginning where Paul goes, all right, and then just goes into, you know, da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. and then Peter's drumming on this, just great, fits so well with the rest of the song. Classic riffs going on. Vocally, this was Paul in his prime at his best in the 70s. Just fantastic. Musically, everything going on here. This, this is Kiss. This is it. I love the guitars on this. And then that solo done by both Ace and Paul is just great. And then, you know, Gene's bass going on in the back is so cool. I just love it, love it, love it. Great song. One of the best things they've ever done. Love, I saw your love. Let's go on to the next one. Ah, oh, number two, this is Christine 16. Uh, I love the sound of the bass on this one, but I've never been a fan of the piano going playing, you know? And uh, overall, I've never really been a fan of this song either. But, you know, I do love Peter, again on this one. Great drumming from Peter. Uh, I kind of like this song on one hand. Uh, you know, on one hand it's a classic Gene song, lyrically. But on the other hand, I just feel it's far too poppy. And it just rubs me the wrong way. That's why I never really cared about this song. And lyrically, again, it's classic Gene. Uh, but overall, it's not that great. It's not anything uh, mind-blowing or that great. The solo even, even the solo here is, is pretty short. It's kind of lackluster, a little, a little boring. It's, it's, overall, this song, it just doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. When they play it live, I'm not really like excited. I just don't really care for it. But let's go on to number three, which is Got Love For Sale. Now this is a song I'm a big fan of. Great song, sounds great right from the intro. Nice thick bass sound, you know, from Gene. And then uh, Gene also plays rhythm on this one. It's a much better Gene song than the last one, much better. Now, uh, I didn't like this song actually. For the longest time, I did not like this song. What made me like it was that I heard this compilation of the top 10 best ace solos, and this song was on there. On the top 10 best ace solos. So I, I listened to the song again, I was like, this song is actually a good song. Not only just a solo, the whole song this is fantastic. I love Peter's drumming on, here, on this. Fantastic classic solo from Ace. Like I said, in this top 10 easily. Great song. I just love the ending. When you know you hear Paul singing, I got love for sale, while the guitars just in the back are just wailing, I got love for sale, we, we, we got love for sale. I love that. Just great, great, great song. Now we move on to number four, which is Shock Me. The first time Ace Frehley ever sang on a studio album. And what do we got? We got one of the greatest kiss songs ever. Classic drum intro, probably the best intro since Strutter, I gotta say. Uh, it's just classic Ace lyrics, uh, Ace plays bass on this one, and he sounds great on uh, bass or drum, I mean bass or uh, guitar. Ace's singing here is great, Peter is so good on this, just so good on this. Uh, another classic Ace solo for the ages is one of the, this is easily in the top, top like five of his guitar solos ever. It's just so great. And I love just the bass on this, which is Ace again, as you know. Great song, Paul's great on this too. 
and it's just a great song. Just one of the best iconic songs of Kiss and of Ace specifically. Great song. Let's move on to number five, which is Tomorrow and Tonight. Um, okay, look, this is an obvious, obvious rock and roll all night one. And it's just vastly inferior in a subpar compared to Rock and Roll All Night, which is the reason that I've never really cared for this one. I will say I like this more than Christine 16, but it's not like anything special. This is basically filler, I would say. But, you know, I used to skip this song, but now I've been listening to it more because honestly, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun song. It, you know, it's, lyrically, it's classic Paul, thinking about rock and roll and stuff. The riffs are real good, real, like rocking, you know, rock and roll style riffs. A great solo, pretty good solo, much better than Christine 16. It, just the solo alone is worth checking out this song. There's piano on this one and it doesn't bother me, I think it fits the song. And there's also female backing vocals, which a lot of the time I don't like female backing vocals. But on this song, I, I'm okay with it. I'm just okay with, with everything on this song. I just don't think it's that great, which is weird. I mean, I, that's why I said it's a fun song, but it's not a song I'd be begging to listen to, or a song that I'm like, oh yeah, man. Uh, what is this called? Tomorrow and Tonight, I don't remember the name. Tomorrow and Tonight, it's like one of my favorite Kiss songs. No, I just think it's, a, it's an okay thing. It's a fun song. I think it's better than Christine 16. Now we move on to number six, which is the title track. This is All Right, Love Gone. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Great, just classic intro right there, Peter. Just hitting it hard throughout the whole song. Peter's just on fire. Paul's vocals, best vocals ever. Amazing vocals. The bass line, I love the bass line on this. Just, uh, I found out that was uh, Paul playing the bass line. This just happens to be one of my favorite uh, Kiss bass lines. And it's just unfortunate that it's not Gene, this is Paul. But it's just, it's still a great bass line. Classic song with great riffs. This is my favorite song on the album. It's been one of my favorite Kiss songs ever. This has actually been my ringtone on my phone for the last two years, basically. So every time I hear this song playing, da -da 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 I think it's my phone. Even when I'm listening to the album and I know this song is coming up, I start hearing the, the intro and I, I'm like looking for my phone. It's like, wait, is my phone? Oh no, I'm listening to the song, obviously. So every time I hear this song, I think of my phone. But I just love this song, yeah, for two years I haven't changed it because I just love it. I love Gene singing the backup vocals, he has like high vocals here, I just, I think it works, it just works. And then here comes Ace Fraley, lead guitar with that solo, it's just out of this world, amazing, amazing solo of Paul, it's just in the back going, Love God, Love God, he just sounds so good, it's just a perfect song. Perfect song, one of the easily top three Kiss songs ever. I just love this. This is fantastic. Oh my god. Now we are at number seven, which is Peter's song. This is Hooligan. I love this song. I'm a big fan of this song. Peter sounds great here, vocally plus drumming. Great. Lyrically, it's pretty dumb, the song. But Peter just pulls it off. I know a lot of people who don't like this song for that reason, but I just I just love it. I will tell you something, a little spoiler for Destroyer. I don't like Beth. I don't like Beth. So when I review that album, do not be surprised. I don't like Beth. I much prefer Hooligan over Beth. God, much prefer Hooligan over Beth. And I just think the song is fantastic. Uh, the guitars are great. Great solo from Ace. Uh, classic Peter, just classic Peter. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's move on to the next number eight. Almost Human. This has got to be my favorite Gene song on this album. It's got a great uh, opening riff. Heavy, just groovy bass coming from Mr. Gene Simmons. It's just such a Gene song, man. It's just like a demon song. It sounds amazing vocally from him. The drums uh, missed by Peter are great. The congas aren't Peter, but just the drums are, and they just sound great. I love Paul's backing vocals. Where he's like, I'm almost human. And then G, I'm almost a man. 
it's just so like mesmerizing Paul's vocals. I'm almost human. I love it. I just love it, love it, love it. Everything just flows perfectly. That solo by Ace, oh my god, is magical, just magical. Probably uh, just one of the best things maybe since Strange Ways. It's just so it's just like weird, but it's just so good. It's just such an Ace thing. Let's move on to number nine, which is Plaster Caster. Oh my god, I love the intro. Right from the intro, it just gets me that bass. Like, dun, 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 dun. I love it. Lyrically, it's classic Gene, uh, but you know, the song is based on a true person. We'll look it up. It's musically great. Just all the drums, guitars, bass, everything is great. A great solo, such a fun song to sing along to. Uh, one time, <laughs> I went to a Hot Topic and I walked in and they were playing like, on the speakers, Plaster Caster. And I was like, wait, is that, that is, it's Plaster Caster, like of all the Kiss songs to play. They were playing Plaster Caster and the guy like stalking the shelves, he was just like so, just so into it. He was so into it. He was like, the Plaster Caster, Plaster Caster. I was just like, okay, well, another fan of Plaster Caster. I was just such a fun thing to see, but I love this song, great song. The unplugged version is fantastic also, but I just love this. And I gotta say, the album, for me, for me, ends right here with this song. This song ends the album for me. For the rest of the world though, it doesn't, it keeps going. There's one more song. Let's go on to number 10, this is Then She Kissed Me. Honest to God, I forget this thing even exists. I really do, because look, I have the digital version, which means I have 10 songs, like an mp3 format. I just deleted this one, number 10, uh, then she kissed me, I just deleted it. And I've, it's been like that for like forever for me, uh, so I forget this thing exists. So every time I have to check the track listing of, of songs, because there are songs I probably deleted, and this is one of them. Mm, my reason is I don't like covers at all. Very rarely do I like a cover. But my question here is why? Like I get it because the, the song has the word KISS in the title. I get that's why you would want to cover this, but other than that, why? It's, it's... Honestly, like honestly. I don't think it's bad. I don't, I don't, I don't. I think it's a, it's a pretty fun little pop song. It's actually a pop song from the 60s, from 63 I believe. Uh, the Crystals, they were the original uh, group to perform this. And if you listen to the Crystals version, I also think that's a, it's a pretty good pop song. The Beach Boys even covered this in 65. Again, great pop song. It's, it's, all three versions are good pop songs. Just... Why is it on this album? Like, I feel I deleted it. Even though I think it's a good song, I deleted it because I don't care for covers. And I feel it kills the vibe of the album. I feel that the album is going for this good, just, just you know, rock and roll, very just hard rock, just this momentum that's building up, even though it's got love for sale, love gun, almost human, plastic cast, and then this thing. Just kills it, just kills it, just deflates it, just, just, just brings it all down and destroys everything it had going for it. it just stops it dead in its track. And again, I feel Beth does the same thing, but I prefer Beth over this. Do I? I'll have to look into that if I prefer Beth over this. But I feel Beth does the same thing, just kills the whole momentum of the album. But, I mean, I like this song. I like Paul's voice on this. I like uh, the music on this. I think it's a good song. I just, just, it kills it for me. It kills the album. But that being said, this album is Fantastic. I love this thing. This is the last thing the original band did together. And I mean, it's sad that was the end, but I mean, I feel it kind of went out on top. I will say, I think this is my least favorite of the original band's albums. Like, of the six albums, this is the one I rank last. It's my least favorite one. But I still think it's a good album. I still think it's a great album. I just think the first five are better. But you know, there's lots of moments on this that are just fantastic. 
and there's other moments on this that are just okay, but I think it's a great album. I think it's a great album. It's a nice little farewell to the band because the originals will never do anything like this again. Psycho Circus is a fraud. And I mean, they had the reunion, but they didn't really do a real album after that. But, you know, this being the end, I think it's a pretty good end. The final song you're doing is basically like Love Gun and Got Love For Sale and I Stole Your Love. I think it's a nice little way to go off. And I just love this album. Great album, listen to it. Turning 40 years, June 30th. 40 years, great, 40 years, and I'm, I have the 40 year old song as my ringtone, and I still love it, I just love it. So, let's move on to my pick of the bid. For this episode's pick of the bid, my pick will be Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. I love that album. Great album, but the original Alice Cooper band. This is one of the best things they ever did. You gotta listen to that album. If you like Kiss, you probably like Alice Cooper. So, and if you haven't heard that album, listen to it. If you have, hear it again. Great album by the great original band, just like Kiss, the original band. Listen to that album. That being said, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts on the 40 years of Kiss Love Gun and subscribe for more reviews. But remember, remember, stay metal, stay devil, stay evil, all right.